Today I'm going to be doing a review of this Actron CP7529 timing gun. Stay tuned and you'll see how it comes out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So I don't do unboxing videos. Uh, I've gotten uh, kind of trashed before about uh, we don't care how it looks when it comes out of the box. Um, but I will do a couple of things about the packaging that came in. It comes in this impossible to open uh, plastic packaging. Um, I don't like this stuff. You got to cut through it. And uh, quite honestly, I, I've actually had to cut me back when I'm cutting it. But anyway, that's just it. The uh, gun itself looks pretty good. Um, it's got a good control panel. The circuitry is there. The features that I really like about it, and I'll demonstrate these shortly, is it's got a light, which is okay. It's not really necessary, but it uses the strobe, the xenon strobe, to just basically flash very, very quickly and uh, give you some light. Um, one of the reasons I bought this is because A, I've got this ancient, I say ancient because this belonged to my dad. This is a Craftsman uh, strobe light or timing light. Uh, it doesn't have an advance, but you really don't need that if you know what you're doing. Um, this thing's sturdy. It's probably at least 35 years old and it's done me justice. Um, I also have this. <laughs> it's a uh, old ancient dwell tech meter with alligator clips, so you got to basically stick a paper clip in there with the spark plug and um, get a nice jolt if you don't do it right or you do it while the engine is running which you really shouldn't. Uh, so I wanted to replace it with something that gave me a tachometer in it as well. So anyway let me go ahead and give this a shot and um, let's see how it works. Alright so now that I've got all the linkages adjusted uh, there's only one thing left to adjust that's going to be the idle speed. I'm going to use this new timing light I got. Um, it's actually got a couple of neat features up. Uh, I showed you the old ones. Um, I have an old, probably 40 year old Sears timing light that I'm using, but uh, this one lets me check uh, two and four stroke, uh, lets me do RPM, um, lets me check the timing, doing an do an advance, uh, as well as retard, and I'll show you all that in a minute. Um, but basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this for two things. One of them is to check the, um, the idle speed. And adjust that and then the other one is to uh, just check where the timing's at after we change the uh, CDI module. Let me go ahead and get that done. Get a ton of water. You away from it? Yeah. Check the timing now. So there is one other feature of this light, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got a flashlight built in. If you press this little center button. You can see it's strobing really fast. Um, I, I think what it's doing is just hitting like, you know, probably 10,000 strobes a second or some crap like that. To, uh, so it does have a light. Not terribly useful, but if you're working in a tight uh, space and uh, you need some lighting um, and you're doing timing or, or um, uh, idle speed um, work, then yeah, you do have a light available to you. So it's kind of a cool feature. All right, so let me tell you what happened. Uh, I was out here double checking the timing. One of the things I noticed is this, the pickups on this are not that great. Uh, it's got some red coils on the inside. You should be able to see that. Let's see if I can get it, give you a shot there. Um, you gotta hold that up against the wire. Um, if it falls off of it, it doesn't really do a good job. And maybe these wires are really well shielded. I don't know, uh, you know that could be a problem. Um, I was able to do the RPMs and one of the things I noticed was I would set it to two cycle just by hitting this yeah and um, it would jump back to four cycle and it was jumping erratically all over the place unless 
you have this firmly in place, which means you got to kind of put your hand up, up on there. Uh, the video you saw earlier with me adjusting it, uh, my son was actually holding it at some point just to just to get it steady. Um, what was worse when I went uh, when I went to check the timing, the light just suddenly gave out. <laughs> yeah, seriously, just stopped. Couldn't get it to come on again. I uh, smelled it. Well, actually, I, sp I smelled a really bad burning uh, odor. It smelled like burning transformer. And I was like, oh, shit, there goes the engine. I was really worried the engine was getting cooked. Nope, it was this guy right here. And um, just to add icing to the cake, there's stuff rattling around in there. So I'm going to give them a call and see how well or how good they are honoring their warranty. But so far, it's not looking really good as far as uh, me recommending this. Um, I wouldn't give it away, to be honest with you at this point. Let's see how they do in the warranty. All right, so we've had a catastrophic failure. I've got the manual. I'm going to call the, uh, I guess it's a warranty um, line. It's under the warranty page. It says, if you have any questions about the operations of this product, call 800, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a call. Got my headset in. Um, didn't want to record this only because I don't want to violate any uh, any state or federal laws. Service Solutions, home of Actron, Auto X-Ray, and Drive Assure. Your call may be monitored for quality assurance. Please listen carefully to the following four options. For technical support or to obtain a part number, please press 1 now. If you are calling to place an order, check on delivery status. Interestingly Eight enough, that comes up as Bosch Performance, which if Bosch has anything to do with this, for replacement. For technical you would support think or to obtain a part number, it would be a quality please part. Press one oh, now. I see that. If you are calling to place an order, check on delivery status. Right, I hit one. Please check choose from support. the following three options. If you are calling for assistance to update your scan tool or code reader, please press 1 now. If you need diagnostic trouble code description. I'm hitting one over and over again. Um, I got a um, an Actron uh, timing light, uh, CP7529. I literally just got it the day before yesterday. And I was working on an outboard in the, in the uh, two-stroke mode. And the light gave out and um, started... Uh, smelling something burning and something burned up inside and I don't know if you can hear it but that's it rattling on the insides so I don't know what I got to do to get warranty service if you're going to call and ask okay so you don't need the old one back or okay let me um let me get that email real quick and um model um is there any issue that it was purchased in you on ebay all right, so I bought it on eBay. He told me eh, that would probably be a problem because they sell new and used. Well, I can't imagine they sell used ones because they don't seem to last long enough to be sold as used. Um, and I did it because I, I got it at a you know probably thirty percent discount over what it would cost on Amazon or any other other location. And so I'm going to contact the uh, eBay folks uh, that I bought it from and see if I can get a written statement from them saying that A, they sold it to me, B, you know, I guess a receipt of some sort, um, and they have to be an authorized distributor. Otherwise, Actron won't honor the warranty. So, let's see how this goes. So here's a quick update. I uh, contacted the seller on eBay and I'm um, asking them if they were an authorized reseller. They said yes, they were, but they also said don't bother dealing with Actron. Uh, they would send me a replacement, no questions asked. So I really got to give kudos um, to the seller. The seller is actually Right Price Store 216, all one word. So, I mean, they, they actually have other products that are really good and scanners and stuff, but I have to recommend them because, the, quite frankly, um, it appears their customer service is, is pretty awesome. I'm assuming I'm going to get one in the mail. I always give people the benefit of the doubt. Now, one other thing about Actron and his timing light. It's also Bosch, because look what I found. Um, apparently, uh, Bosch either owns Actron. I'm assuming that's the case, since Bosch is a far bigger company than uh, Actron is. But beware, it's the same It's the same thing, both companies, Actron and Bosch, um, which is surprising. I didn't think Bosch would be uh, responsible for a rattle, a <laughs> baby rattle. All right, so let me give you the wrap-up on this um, Actron. Uh, CP7529 um, it's a piece of crap it gets a single star 
and that's because you can use it once and um, then you know blow the smoke away and stuff after you have to use it um, I don't know if they're all like that this might have been a manufacturing defect who knows I'm gonna get another one but um, for right now I honestly can't can't recommend it um, it's like I said the uh, the, uh, the plastic is really cheesy. The electronics and the buttons seem all right, and they worked well when they did work. Um, the uh, not too thrilled with this old metal. That they claim it's an advantage. It certainly is, but uh, the pickups on it just didn't work that well. So I don't know. Maybe it's part of the uh, manufacturing defect. Uh, some other things about it, you can't can't detach uh, the cable from it. So most of these will let you detach the cable for storage. Or replacement if <laughs> I've heard stories and I, it hasn't happened to me but you know if you happen to get one of the cables caught by a fan blade in an engine compartment you're gonna have to replace that cable uh, either that or get a lot of solder and uh, duct tape and, uh, and uh, electrician's tape no storage container um, hit or miss a lot of the things I wind up the cables and put them in a drawer um, got a lot of storage space I'm tight on it but I do have enough so um, overall I mean I just honestly can't recommend this um, We'll see if I get the other replacement. I'll play around with it some more, and if it turns out that it's reliable, um, I'll give it two stars. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed this, hit like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.